everyone to Logic Monitor's inaugural Logic Talks. This is a new initiative where we're going to be speaking to industry experts and to really innovative Logic Monitor customers to talk about and deep dive into topics that are so important to the IT industry and why, why IT is so important in the modern workplace. So um, thanks for joining me on this premiere episode. My name is Mark Banfield. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer here at Logic Monitor. Today, I'm joined by Ant Malloy from his home in Lancashire in the north of England. Um, Ant is currently the CEO of Aurora um, and has a plethora of knowledge and experience in this software space, particularly around monitoring. We're very excited to have him here today. Hi, Mark. Thanks very much for that. Um, Ant, why don't you start by just giving us a quick overview on Aurora, uh, on your role, and about what Aurora do and how you operate in the market today? Yeah, sure. So Aurora um, are a software and services um, organization. Um, we really see ourselves as an enabler, really, for um, MSPs, uh, telco resellers, IT resellers. Um, we provide a software platform um, which covers um, billing, um, sales, sales enablement, um, order and automated provision, um, and, and care platforms. As part of our care platform, we, we use Logic Monitor. We, we use at Logic Monitor to underpin that uh, to get us to proactive management, or our resellers use that, I should say. The MSPs use that. Um, I guess from a from the monitoring standpoint, we ask, we see ourselves as almost the uh, enabler for MSPs. So we, we've got experience and professional services people and automation software that enables um, people to get more out of uh, monitoring applications. Um, and uh, you know, we've chosen Logic Monitor um, to be an integral part of that. So it's a really exciting business, and I know you've, you've had a lot of growth and a lot of success with the Logic Monitor platform. Um, what's some of the major hurdles that you've faced in managing and maintaining some of the different infrastructure environments and applications? Uh, I guess um, there's two ways of looking at that. Aurora and Aurora's platform is is now fully monitored by by Logic Monitor. I think that the wider um, piece of this is really more about our customers. So our customers are then selling onto their customers uh, a monitoring service. You know, they're, they're they're managing tens of thousands of devices with varying different types of software. You know. The amount of monitoring software that's out there and, and within an organization, there's usually four, five, six different tools. But uh, there isn't a consistent way of seeing that. Um, so our customers are spending too much time getting the tools working. When it came to making a selection and looking at the different criteria that was important to you as an organization in yeah. selecting a, as you call it, a single pane of glass, a single monitoring platform, um, what was the kind of process you went through and what were the key sort of decision criteria it needs to work <laughs> that sounds uh, sounds obvious um but it but it really does and i think um the amount of time some monitoring tools and we've had a, a you know a plethora of monitoring tools the amount of time it takes to get one working um was a was a key factor um so making sure that it was simple and easy making sure that the rollout was simple and easy um, sometimes we, uh, our customers bring on bases quite quickly in quite, um, you know, quite significant numbers. Uh, so getting um, a view of that is, is important. Uh, I also, um, one of the things which I've been sort of pushing for quite some time is SaaS first. No longer do I have to have a conversation about getting more disk space or getting more compute power. Mm. Um, that, that's your problem. Yeah, yeah. And quite happy for you to, to have it. Yeah. Um, so I think um, that, that was... Um, a major factor. Um, I think uh, strong and extensive API, um, especially for us in Aurora. You know, we are. You know, we're a software business. We've got a platform that we wanted to uh, integrate Logic Monitor to. Um, so whether that's you know underpinning some of our support uh, applications, uh, whether that's giving visibility um, directly to the end users of our of our um, customers. Um, so API was 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 big up there as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I know one area that, that's been a big differentiator for you has been around the speed with which you can deploy and, and integrate devices that you need to monitor. Because it's a SaaS platform and it's, you know, it integrates with a lot of different technologies, I know you've integrated with ServiceNow and other things. Can you just talk a little bit about what you've done there? Because I think it's quite an innovative approach that you've taken. 
Yeah, so um, as I said, you know, we're, we're um, uh, software developers at heart, but ultimately we think about software first, we think about automation. We've done a number of things in that. You know, one of them is um, uh, we've underpinned the rollout of, of, um, of new devices, uh, of collectors. And again, we've used the, the API to do that with our own software, using Ansible, using a variety of other pieces of technology that we've, that we've brought together. Um, we have integrated in things like ServiceNow, um, but we also have a, um, a layer in there, which means it doesn't have to be ServiceNow. It could be you know, Zendesk, a variety of other ticketing systems, um, but also our own sort of underlying affinity, Aurora affinity support system. Um, you know, Logic Monitor is, is a, a cornerstone of that and really where we, where we look to to be the starting point uh, of that proactive management of of, uh, of alerting, whether it's an application or whether it's a piece of hardware, um, you know. So, so there is that. Uh, I think the other piece that we've done, um, which um, we're evolving all of the time, is our our self service portal. Um, so, our our customers are displaying information about the devices which are being monitored in Logic Monitor to their customers. Um, so we use you know a single instance of Logic Monitor for that for that one customer, but then we cut and create views of that through our portal. Um, in our next release in uh, in June July time, uh, we expect to sort of take that even further. So our customers customers can add their own devices, um, and then that impacts at the back end into our support system, into our CMDB. Uh, into the billing system. So as soon as a customer adds something, uh, that gets into the bill, and that's a fully automated process. Uh, and that's where Logic Monitor and the Aurora Affinity platforms really come uh, yeah. come together. So yeah, it, 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 and it's a great solution. In terms of some of the innovative things you've enabled your customers to do, um, are there any that you could just talk about in terms of sort of interesting use cases where you, where the combination of our platform with with Aurora's platform has really driven a really significant ROI. You know, there's um, I don't think there's one customer that we have that operates in the same way. Um, you know, we've got ones where that they are handling break fix, and it is really about getting um, proactive alerts um, and and actually information about the actual failure, so an engineer can turn up on site with the right part. I think. Uh, the consolidation of tooling. Um, I think uh, I talked about you know sort of that single pane of glass. Um, you know that obviously helps the um, the service provider or the managed service provider or or, or the reseller to, to manage an estate, but also the amount of applications that we've turned off. Um, you know, as part of that, you know, I think we've probably you know there's probably 50, 60 different monitoring tools, uh, all of which had a, a um, a license cost or a maintenance cost, all of which that had a you know some probably some piece of hardware involved and in that, in that ongoing management. Uh, so some of our customers have, have really seen massive savings in that. Yeah, yeah, and I think one of the things that's interesting with your deployment is, I mean, you have tens and tens and tens of thousands of devices under management. Maybe just touch upon some of the extensibility of Logic Monitor and the flexibility it gives you in monitoring. Yeah, very different types of devices. Yeah, you know, we want to use Logic Monitor as our, our single tool, uh, and we want our resellers and, and, and MSPs to use it as their single tool as well. And I think what what we have is we've got customers that look at a the same device in very different ways. Um, so that could be you know just from a pure hardware point of view, and we're really just caring about you know is it alive uh, and maybe some detailed information about hardware failures. Um, and they never go up the stack. And then you've got other ones who are managed service providers that are looking at that operating system. And then you go into the database, and then you go into the applications. And we've got, um, we're pretty much, each of our customers have got different usage. Um, anything as complicated as a, as a database server or cluster, down to application servers, down to um, mm -hmm. you know, Bluetooth headsets. Um, and then you're getting into the IoT space as well, which we see as a, a major area of growth. And um, because we've, automated the approach to sort of um, bring the devices on it means all of a sudden it opens up that, that wider monitoring space because you're not spending time massive amounts of time you know adding on a bluetooth headset you know why, why would you um, you know so with the automation that that helps us get into that market as well yeah 
No, definitely. In terms of um, public cloud, um, I know you're using Logic Monitor to, to monitor some of those cloud environments. Hey, you yourself as Aurora are using public cloud, obviously, but also your customers are. Is that something that's accelerating the move to use of public cloud like AWS, Google, Microsoft? Uh, well, we're a massive user of, of, of cloud. Um, so yes, for Aurora, you know, we've been on that journey probably for the last two to three years. Um, I think some of our customers who are delivering um, like break fix, that, that tends to be um, not cloud. I don't really distinguish between um, a cloud environment or a, an on-premise environment. I just see those as devices and, it's, and we're looking at the health of those devices. And if something goes wrong, we're just using a consistent way to manage it. And you know, that single pane of glass, it's all about service time. It's all about service performance. Uh, and the fact that we can bring that together into one is, is great for us because we you know, literally don't want um, any more tools. No. So a lot of what you've talked about has been driving monitoring to be less about being reactive and more about being proactive and identifying issues before they actually ever become a major issue. You've, you've done a lot on, on that journey yourself and you're leveraging some of the AI ops capabilities that we've brought into the platform. But I know that's something you feel very passionate about, isn't it, around AI ops and automation? Yeah, I think automation um, is integral to um, probably everything that I've been doing over the last sort of 15 years, if I'm honest. Y using you know, applications, using software, using hardware to, to do um, things quicker and better. You know, um, uh, you know, I see automation kind of being part of our DNA. Uh, and uh, we probably look at automation before we look at um, you know, how we look at a user interface, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, and anything that has got some form of automation, some form of um, you know, AI, uh, some form of you know, using data that we've collected to make a better experience, uh, ultimately for the end user, um, but to our resellers, to our MSPs, and then, and then to Aurora ourselves, then I'm, I'm all up for that, as you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thanks, thank you much. Um, thanks to everyone who's uh, subscribed in to listen to this today. Um, remember to go to the Logic Monitor YouTube channel for the latest episodes of Logic Talks. There'll be many more of them. Um, I'm sure we'll see Ant on here again. If you're interested in how IT infrastructure monitoring and intelligence can help your organization, then by all means, please swing by logicmonitor.com to get started. And we hope to see you again for the next episode of Logic Talks. Thank you.